Okay, so now we can finally go back to a policy, which is effectively what macro always ends up with, is the policy. So let's write down the ice and LM relations. Ice relation we had already derived is equal to C depends on Y and T plus I, which depends on Y and R. Actually, we are using the nominal interest rate now plus G plus NX, which depends on Y, Y star and uh, exchange rate. So one plus I, one plus I star times expected. And LM as always, it's just a policy rate for the current period. So I is equal to I, that's it. This is what we have. So now here's the question that we are going to try and answer, okay? What happens when I changes? So two things is going to happen to this I seven relation when I change. First thing is that uh, let's say I increase, okay? You guys can figure out the opposite case. What happens when I increase? I will directly reduce investment. It will reduce demand and output, right? So we knew this from uh, chapter three and this happens for both closed and open economies. We knew this relationship, but now because of what we have done so far in this chapter, we have a second relationship, okay? When I goes up, I will directly, uh, I will directly, let's go up here, yeah. I will directly increase exchange rate uh, because of this relationship right here. Remember that E is equal to one plus I, one plus I star times E. So if we have a case where this is going up, then this will also go up. So I will directly increase the exchange rate, which will, as we all know, lower net export. And as a result, demand and output will fall. This is a new relationship. This is applicable for open economies only. This doesn't happen for closed economies. So effectively, the direction of the relationship has not changed. Uh, what we knew all the way back in chapter, what was it, three? I think in chapter five, is that if I went up, Y would go down. We knew this relationship, but we knew that the mechanism of this happening was through investment, which uh, depends negatively with the interest rate. But what we are now seeing is that there is also another route, which is the exchange rate and the net export route. And they will both reduce Y, they will both reduce Y. But what we are now seeing is that the effect of change in interest rate on output will be stronger than expected. We were just focusing on one relationship so far, but we know that there is a second route as well. Okay. So what I need you guys to do is uh, think about this 
for a little bit, uh, think about the mechanisms. Uh, so let me give you guys an example, okay? So once again, let's assume for simplicity, there are only two countries in the world. Let's say they are Bangladesh and India. So of course, Bangladesh and India trades together a lot. And so as a result, uh, and we're looking at the short run. So price is not going to change. So of course, there is uh, an exchange rate and interest rate and NX and all of that. And then uh, Bangladesh implements, uh, let's say a contractionary monetary policy, okay? Uh, so effectively what happens is that interest rate in Bangladesh goes up. So what I need you guys to figure out is because of this, what will happen to trade between Bangladesh and India, uh, the exchange rate, what will happen to the exchange rate. Uh, in fact, you may have to figure out uh, what will happen to the exchange rate before what will happen to trade and uh, demand and output of goods. In Bangladesh. And you can do the case for India as well. What happens to India because there has been a change in interest rate in Bangladesh. Uh, but let's, let's start with the Bangladesh case, okay? So it's just a simple exercise I'm setting for you guys. I've, talked, I've given you guys the explanation here. This was effectively just a theoretical explanation. Now I want you guys to figure out a more practical case, a more realistic case of that if Bangladesh Bank tomorrow decides that they are going to increase the interest rate, what effect will that happen on the country's GDP, on trade with India, on the exchange rate, and so on. So give it a go, spend 5, 10, 20 minutes trying to figure it out, and all of you should be able to, okay? This is a fairly simple problem to solve, so good luck with that.